In these problems, we're evaluating some functions for given values. So if I have a function f of x, and I want to find f of negative 4, I'm just going to put in negative 4 wherever I see x in the function. And in this case, the function is the absolute value of x minus 9. So I would just plug in negative 4 in place of x, and then evaluate it. Well, the absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4, and then minus 9 is going to be negative 5. Let's try another one. This one's a little bit trickier looking. We have the function x squared minus x, and we want to find f of t plus 6. Well, it's not any harder than really this f of minus 4 was before. We take t plus 6, and we put it in wherever we see x. So it's going to sub in for this x here, which means you start with t plus 6 squared, and then here, minus t plus 6. And here we probably should do some simplifying. So we're going to go ahead and foil out the t plus 6 squared. We'd get t squared plus 12t uh, plus 36. And then here we'll distribute the negative sign in, uh, minus t minus 6. And then when we simplify that, we get t squared uh, plus 11t uh, plus 30. And that is our answer. All right, let's try one more. This one's kind of a fun one. So we've got uh, the function f of x is 4x plus 1, and we want to find f of x minus f of a over x minus a. Of course, where x does not equal a, you have to say that because if x equaled a down here, you'd have an undefined function because you'd have 0 in the denominator. So let's just start plugging this in. Uh, on the top here, we have f of x first. Well, f of x is just 4x plus 1. So that's done. Then we have minus f of a. Well, and I'm going to put that in parentheses, f of a will be this function where a subs in for x. So that would be 4a uh, plus 1. And then on the bottom, we have x minus a. Now, there's definitely some simplifying we can do here. Let's go ahead and, and put the uh, minus sign distributed through here. So on top, we get 4x plus 1 minus 4a and then minus 1. So that would come out to the positive 1 and negative 1 add up to 0. We would get 4x minus 4a. But we can pull a 4 out of there, and we would end up with 4 times x minus a over x minus a. And those x minus a factors cancel. And so all of that comes down to just 4. And that's our answer. So that's a little work on evaluating functions.